Hey, good morning. How are we doing today? Great to see you. We've got four people on already. That's fantastic. Shout out to Alexa. Not my Amazon device, but the uh, computer place I used to work for. Uh, they do all kinds of IT solutions. They are not paying me to say that. I just think that they do really great work. Uh, and I really respect the owner of that company. Uh, so if you're a, if you're a uh, corporation or a company or even just an individual, you're looking for any kind of computer services, look for these guys online, Alexa. Uh, I just happened to grab this hat today. So uh, we got four on right now. Look at we had five. Oh, down to three. Oh, boy. Uh, we're going to give it a minute or so. See if anybody else jumps in today. Glutes and abs. Uh, and this is Mark Ward. You have your friend Carrie Smalley to thank for that. She's the one who put that thought in my head yesterday. Hey, we should do glutes and abs tomorrow. So uh, when your uh, when your glutes are talking to you a little bit later today, uh, they're going to be saying Carrie Smalley. All right, we'll give it a minute or so. Uh, let some more people jump on. Make sure you've got a water bottle nearby. We are not going to be doing a lot of cardio to warm up today, but we are going to have a roughly 10 minute cardio segment toward the end of the workout, which reminds me I need to get my timer set up. We're gonna be roughly 10 minute cardio segment set up toward the end of the workout, which reminds me I need to get my timer set up. We're gonna be roughly 10 minute cardio segment set up toward the end of the workout to finish out with a little cardio circuit training. I'm gonna make sure I've got my timer set up right away, unlike yesterday. I need an ab workout, so it's okay. <laughs> You can cuss her out in your head as much as you want. You go right ahead. I've learned it doesn't pay to try to cuss her out in person because it just gets me into trouble. Okay, I'm so I'm setting up the rounds. We're gonna do, let's see, we got five exercises. We're gonna do three rounds, so that's 15 rounds, right? 15 rounds, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go 20 seconds, wrong way, there we go. 20 seconds on with 10 seconds rest in between exercises. There we go. All right, so I got my timer all set up. We're good to go. We got four people on. Smart man. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it took me a while to learn that, but, you know, even the, you know, the, the sometimes the hardest lessons to learn are the ones that stick with you the most, right? So, we're going to start with just a little warm-up. want a little bit of room. You don't need a ton of room. We're going to do a little jog forward, shuffle back. Jog forward, shuffle back. And just a few steps forward and back is fine. You want to... Kind of feel like you're stopping short and then doing that immediate reverse. This does hit the glutes a little bit. Glutes and hips. You can't really work the glutes all the time without including the knees a little bit. So this works through the knees, gets through the ankles a little bit, and of course it gets your heart rate going. Gets you breathing a little bit more, gets that blood pumping. And that's one of the goals of the warm-up, is to get that blood pumping. We're going to go from that forward jog, backward shuffle, into crossover steps, karaoke. Getting those side hips working. Continuing to get that blood flowing, get that breathing going. Hey, how y'all feeling after yesterday's workout, huh? By seven by seven. Now, if you haven't practiced these crossover karaoke steps, you might need to go a little slower. A little more carefully, that's okay. The main point here is just to get those hips working side to side, not necessarily to work real fast.
Hope you got some awesome music going right now. I got the 80s channel. Not really a pump me up song playing right now. It's a little more low key, but it'll pick up, I'm sure. We're going to go from those carry out the side steps into touch the toes, reach up high. Touch the toes, reach up high. As you stand up from that toe touch, I want you to feel those glutes kick in. The two big bumps on the backs of your hips. Get the glutes warmed up, the low back, the hamstrings, shoulders. So we're going to get that heart rate going if it's not already there. Three, two, and one. Moving from that into, we're going to kick your left heel back, touch it with the right hand, left, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. Kick it back. Now, work on reaching across, not just lifting the heel up as close to your butt as you can, but try to get it crossing up over the body, over that center line, and reach that heel out to the side. Get those glutes squeezing as you do that. You don't have to necessarily force them to squeeze. You should feel them engage as you push that hip or that heel out to the side. Also working balance here, an important component and something most people don't work on nearly enough. As we get older, I'm 49, I'm not ashamed to admit it. As we get older, balance is one of the first things to start going. If you don't work on it, it will go away. And pretty soon you find you're taking tiny little shuffly steps because you're afraid of falling because your balance isn't that great. We're going to alternate, lift the knee, twist over, lift the knee, twist over. Twist over, twist over. Feel those ab muscles engage and stretch alternately. So when I'm working with my personal training clients, whether they realize it or not, sometimes I tell them we're working on balance here. Sometimes I won't, I'll just see how they do. Anything you can do where you're going on a single leg is usually a great way to work on balance. And you can work on that throughout the day by doing stuff like, if you're doing dishes at the sink, that's great right there. If you're doing dishes at the sink, Try standing on one foot while you're doing dishes in the sink. When you're brushing your teeth, I wouldn't do one foot while you're like washing your hair in the shower. It's too easy to lose your balance. So many accidents happen in the bathroom and the shower is a slippery place. So I probably wouldn't do single leg balance stuff in the shower. It would be really, really awkward if EMS had to come and help you because you fell in the shower. I wouldn't want that to have to happen to you. So we're gonna move into our strength stuff. I'm going to adjust my screen so I'm over here next to the wall get yourself a quick drink of water if you need it find yourself a spot by the wall because we're going to be using this wall for some stability and I know I just talked about balance but I would rather you hold on and be able to maintain balance by holding onto the wall right now than have to worry about recorrecting your balance repeatedly and losing out on the benefits of this exercise. So we're gonna start one hand against the wall, one foot up off the ground. So there's a little bit of balance in here already. We're gonna reach down with this same foot, touch that toe, back up. Touch that toe, back up. Now. I want to show you something from the side. Keep moving, but I want to show you something from the side. What I see a lot of people do is they'll turn those hips like that 
to artificially increase their reach on that. No, no, what I want you to do is try and keep those hips parallel to the floor as you reach. And as you do that, you're gonna really feel that glute engage as you reach down and come back up. Reach down and come back up. If you try to turn to the side, you're going to feel that glute turn off. You're not getting nearly the benefit out of the exercise that I would really like you to. Let's go two more here. Two and one. Now, we're just going to switch feet. One foot planted in the floor, one hand in the wall. And we're going to really lean into the wall. Hand overhead, side crunch, down, side crunch, down. One hand planted into the wall. Now, as you bring that knee or that uh, that elbow and that thigh closer together, I want you to feel like there's a little bit of a side bend there. Really feel those obliques squeeze in. As you lift that knee up, you're going to feel the hip. You're going to feel the glute on the inside a little bit. You're going to feel those obliques. You're going to feel that shoulder working. Three, two, one. Back a little more upright, hand still on the wall. If you can do this without hand on the wall, fine. You go right ahead. I'm going to show you this with hand on the wall. Side leg raise. As you do this, I want you to notice my toe not turning way out to the side here, which works the quad more, but my toe is pointing forward toward you, so it works the hip. Try not to let that toe turn out as you go. Keep it pointing forward like there's a laser beam on your toe, and you're trying to shoot the screen with a laser beam. Three, two, one. Same thing, opposite side. I don't want you to look at my backside the entire time, so I'm going to change sides. Okay? We're going to go one foot up off the floor, reach down, touch, back up. Remember, trying to keep those hips as parallel to the floor as you can. Not rolling those hips up, which turns that glute off too much but rather trying to keep those hips level so that glute has to stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. So I want you to feel that glute as you're coming up on this toe touch. Four, three, two, and one. One hand planted, walk out, really lean into the wall overhead. Boom, boom. Side crunch. Now, if you're joining me from the great state of Wisconsin, awesome. Thank you. Don't forget, today is voting day. There have been several weeks. We've had a chance to, to get your, uh, your uh, absentee ballots in. If you have an absentee ballot, today is your last day to get a postmark. I just want to remind you of that. If you've not got an absentee ballot, you can still go to the polls and vote today. They are open. Three, two, one. I really encourage you, if you're not sick, to exercise that right. Side leg raise. If you're not feeling well enough to go out to vote today and you have not got an absentee ballot, Contact your local city clerk or the elections board about what your options are. There may be some options for you there. Maybe casting a proxy ballot or something. If you're sick or have symptoms, you're probably not doing this work anyway. But don't go to the polls. Contact your clerk and see what your options are. Four. Three, toe pointing forward, two, and one. Right on. Shake that all out. I'm going to switch back to the first side because we're just going to repeat that on each side. How those hips, how those glutes feel. And rig in and tell me how you're doing. Quick drink of water. Moving back to side A. 
toe touch. Inside up off the floor. Ready? Here we go. Now again, if you feel like you've got enough balance to be able to do this without holding onto the wall, fantastic. Kudos to you. That's a great exercise. I've got you here by the wall so you can focus on getting that glute engaged without having to worry about tipping over if you need it. Remember keeping those hips as parallel to the floor as you can. Imagine pushing that floor away from you as you come up out of this. Three, two, one. Lean in, hand overhead, side crunch, crunch. Feel those obliques squeeze. Feel that hip engage on both sides, really. Feel the shoulders on both sides also. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to upright a little bit more. Side leg raise, toe pointing forward. Laser beam, pointing at the screen. Like sharks with lasers on their foreheads. Now, nice and controlled, not just swinging, swinging, swinging. I want you to feel a lift in the lower, lift in the lower, lift in the lower. Four, three, two, one. Switching sides. And the wall, if you need that assurance of balance, one foot up off the floor, reach, touch, back up. Glute, to a lesser extent, the hamstring. And I want you to focus on the glute. Today is glutes and abs. Guts and butts, if you will. Here's the thing. I want to do an entire glute workout with no squats. What? Glute workouts with no squats? Here's my feeling about squats. While the squats do engage the glutes, yes, they do, the squats are really more of a knee-dominant exercise. Let's go two more. Two and one. What does that mean? Knee-dominant. It means it's focused a little more on the quadriceps than it is on the glutes themselves. While there is what's called a co-contraction of the glutes and the quads, they're not really glute focused. There are ways you can make them glute focused. It's kind of challenging to cue that over the screen while we're doing a group exercise workout. So I wanted to see about doing an, a glute an ab workout with no squats and get this an ab workout with no planks four three crunch and crunch side leg raise what an ab workout with no planks planks they're not easy but they're easy to program Oh, we're doing abs, we might as well throw some planks in there. I wanted to get a little bit more creative today with the core work. So, ab workout with no planks, glute workout with no squats. What? Four, three, two, one. I know you've just been waiting to hear these words, but... One more time, switching sides with those two exercises. How are you guys holding up? Doing well? One hand on the wall. You got that assurance of balance. If you want to touch away or hold your hand away from the wall, that's your business. You go ahead and do it. You go ahead and balance. You got that right there if you need it. 
Hips level, reach down and touch. Glutes as you come back up. This is the second Tina Turner song they've played on this station in the last like 15 minutes. Four, three, two, and one. Right on. Lead into the wall, hand overhead, side crunch, side crunch. I take that back. I don't think this is Tina Turner. I think this is Dionne Warwick. Maybe uh, Aretha Franklin. Four, three, two, and one. A little more upright, side leg raise, toe pointing forward. At this point, those glutes are really starting to fatigue. It's going to be a lot easier to turn that toe out. Don't take the easy road. Nice and controlled in both directions. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Four, three, two, one. Switch in size. So our first grouping of exercises is all standing. Our second group of exercises is going to be all on the knees, reach, hips level. Our third is going to be kind of a combination of on all fours and on the back. Hips level. Feel those glutes, focusing on them. Not to be crass, but get your head in your butt. Focus on the glutes with your mind. Two and one. Lean into the wall. Overhead, side crunch, side crunch. Five, four, three, two, one. Side leg raise. Ready? Toe pointing forward. Controlled in both directions, not just swinging. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. That's it for our standing circuits of exercises. Reposition. I'm going to get my mat ready. Grab a little bit of water. Take a few breaths. So there's my mat. I got my awesome clipboard with my notes here. I'm going to start on the knees on the mat. Now, again, <clears throat> focusing on glutes here. We're going to go hands crossed over the shoulders. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit back toward my heels. I'm going to bring my elbows down toward my knees. And then I'm going to push the hips up and forward. 
from the initial push up off the heels, I want you to feel the glutes starting at this point as you push up and forward. Push those hips under the shoulders. Push the hips under the shoulders. We're not bringing the shoulders back. We're bringing the hips forward. So think about those hips, think about those glutes. Now, if you can't sit that far back, that's okay. You do what you can do today. No one can see you, unless maybe they're right in the room there with you. Three, two, one. Second exercise, starting in all fours. Reach those hands out in front of you. So what I'm starting with is I'm starting with knees on the floor. They're right under the hips. So I'm not here. My knees are right under my hips. My hands are reached way out, like I'm getting ready to go into child's pose. Toes down. We're going to do a push up with the legs. Push up, back down. Push up, back down. Focus on feeling your abs on that lower back down. Control with your quads, your glutes, and your core. As Carrie called this last night, this is the wonky downward dog. This is a wonky version of the downward dog, apparently. I'm not a yoga guy. I do know what down dog is. Two and one. Exercise number three. Right hand, left foot. Bird dog, crunch. Bird dog, crunch. Reach, elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. Feel that lower body as that leg extends. Two and one. Don't switch sides quite yet. Bring that left leg up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. The heel up toward the ceiling. Finish that glued off with that motion. Four, three, two, one. Oh, a lot of glutes and hamstrings there. Other side, right hand. Left, sorry, left hand, right leg for me. Reach, crunch. Reach, crunch. Now, just like that toe touch, the temptation here is to rotate into this. Don't do it. Keep the hips as parallel to the floor as you can. Keep that glute active. Once you start to turn, that lets you start using the low back and the hip rather than the glute. Three, two, one. Don't switch yet. Deal up, pulse. Like you're trying to put your shoe print on the ceiling. Four, three, two, one. Right on. Get a quick sip of water. We're going to repeat those four exercises when you're ready. Going up to a tall kneeling position. Get those hips in line with the shoulders and the knees. Fingertips on the shoulders. We're going to sit back, elbows to knees, and get
Engage the glutes, push the hips up and forward. Elbows to knees, hips up and forward with the glutes. Control motion, engaging those muscles. Two more here. Two and one. Moving into wonky downward dog. Thank you, Carrie, for putting that in my brain. Toes down, knees under the hips, reach out with the hands. Push down with the toes, lift the butt up in the air, back down with control. Control not only with the legs, but also with the core. Feel those abs engaged as you push those toes down into the floor, almost like you're trying to push back. Lower down with control, engage through that core. One more. Oh, I love this song. All right, left hand, right leg, reach, crunch, reach, crunch. Keep those hips level. Three, two, one. Don't switch yet. Foot above the floor, pulse. Two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Last one. Two, three, four. Right on. Switching hand and leg. I'm going right hand, left leg. Reach, crunch. Reach, crunch. Engage those abdominals as you pull that knee and, and elbow together. Four, three, two, one. Knee and foot up off the floor, pulse. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Last one, two, three, four. Feel that glute engage there. Well, oh, you guys are really quiet today. This must be a really good one. Take a drink of water, take a few breaths. We're gonna go back to that kneeling hip hinge. How are we ready? Yes, we are. Awesome. Hands over the shoulders. We're gonna sit back, elbows to knees or thighs, and back up. Again, just like before, control in both directions. As you come up out of that hinge, I want you to feel those glutes really engage as you push the hips forward under the shoulders, not bringing the shoulders back, bringing the hips up and forward. 
Three and two and one. Walking downward dog, knee push ups, I like to call them. Okay, reaching out, knees under the hips, plant those toes, push back with the toes and lift the knees up and the butt up in the air, back down. Controlling, especially on that way down, don't just plop down. Feel that control coming from the legs, from the core. Three, two, one. Bird dog with a crunch. Right hand, left leg. Here we go. Reach, crunch. Reach, crunch. Feel that balance instinct kick in. Three and two and one and reach. Nice. Knee and foot up off the floor. Pulse. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, two, three, four. Last one, two, three, four. Nice. Left hand, right foot. Ready? Reach, crunch. Those glutes are the biggest muscles in your body by volume. The biggest single muscle in your body, the gluteus maximus. So when you're working that and burning off all that oxygen and energy in those muscles, three, two, one. Getting ready to pulse. I'll continue my thought after I do this pulse. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Last one, two, three, four. When you're working those glutes, you're burning off a lot of the oxygen and energy that's stored in that muscle. Your heart rate has to kick up to replace that oxygen, to rush energy to that muscle to make it work. And as a result, that heart rate kicks up, your respiration kicks up, you start sweating a little bit because your body temperature goes up from your heart working, your lungs working. So even though we're not really doing much cardio-based work right now, working those glutes is really going to get you going. Because of that, they are big muscles. Pretty much anything with lower body work, even if you're not doing a lot of cardio, that's going to get you breathing hard, it's going to get you sweat, it's going to get your heart pumping. Last grouping of four exercises. And these ones, I've got three on your back. I've got one on all fours. Okay? So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with what's called a hip lift or a hook hip lift, or a knee hug hip lift. We're gonna, on the back, one foot planted with the knee bent, one knee pulled in tight. You can either go behind the knee or on top of the knee, whichever your preference is. From there, pushing down with your heel here, lift the foot up off the floor, or heel like, hips up off the floor, and back down. Keep that knee pulled in tight. Don't let it come away from your body. You're not going to feel like you're getting a ton of motion here. 
That's okay. The goal is to feel a really distinct squeeze in that glute. This really, really targets the glutes. That's one of the reasons why I saved it for the last circuit. Four, three, two, one. Switching sides. You knew I was going to say that didn't drop. Heel pushed into the floor. Knee pulled into the body tight. Hold it in tight. Get it right. Get it tight. Here we go. Keep that knee pulled in tight. Four, three, two, one. Second exercise, tie punch. We're gonna alternate sides. We're gonna bring elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. This is kind of like your traditional bicycle crunch. So rather than going across the body, we're going the same side. Now, a note on hand placement. What I want you to do is not link your fingers together behind your head. I'm going fingertips by my ears. That way, I'm not pulling on my neck. I'm not cranking my neck up. Four, three, Two, one. I'm not cranking my neck by pulling on it that way, which can be an issue if you've got neck problems, if you've had a herniated disc in the past, if you've had, say, a spinal fusion. Pulling with locked fingers could be bad. So fingertips by the ears, okay? That lets you target the motion of the elbows without cranking on the head and the neck. Third exercise, back scratchers. Again, same position, feet flat on the floor. My hands are on the floor. I'm going to slide my hand toward my heel, slide my hand toward my heel. So your heels should be just at the end of your range of motion or even slightly out of reach. So you have to keep those shoulders curled up off the floor in order to reach them. You shouldn't be able to lay down with your, back, your head on your floor and your shoulders on the floor. You gotta curl up to get these going. Four, three, two, one. Third exercise. There's a lot of core in this one. Okay, hands on the floor, toes on the floor, knees on the floor. I'm gonna lift those knees up off the floor. My hands are a little bit closer together. My feet are a little wider apart, alternating. Touch, touch. Try to keep those knees just two or three inches above the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the first time through that circuit. We're gonna go two more times. I know you were all super, super excited about that. All right, back to that knee hug, glute bridge. This one you can go head back down on the floor, keep that knee holding as tight as you can get it. Push up, down, up, down. Feel that glute. Engage. Two and one. Switching sides. Pull that knee in tight. Get it right, get it tight. Up, down. Engage with the glute.
If you're pulling that knee in tight, you're not going to feel like you've got a whole lot of range of motion in this. That's okay. The goal isn't to get a huge range of motion. The goal is to feel that glute kick in. Three, two, one. Time crunch. Fingertips by the ears, elbow to knee, alternating sides. Here we go. Really reach with that elbow. Don't just bring the knee to you. Bring them together over your midriff. Four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Feet flat on the floor, get them out just a little farther away from you. Hands on the floor or your mat. Curl your shoulders up off, side to side. Back scratcher. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Hands on the floor, knees and toes on the floor. Closer together with the hands, a little farther apart with the feet, plant the toes, and lift up just two or three inches off the floor. Feel that core engage, feel that those squats engage. Think about engaging with the glutes. Alternating touch the shoulders. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three. Knees level. Four, two, three, just a couple inches off the floor. Five, two, last two. There you go. Get a quick sip of water one more time through that circuit. And then we're going to get into our little cardio interval circuit. And then we'll stretch it out. Are we ready? Here we go. Knee pulled in tight. Squeeze it. Give that a big hug. Foot planted on the floor. Up, down. Up, down. Four. Three, two, one. Other side, same thing. Pull it in tight, hold it there, bridge, single leg. Four, three, two, one. Fingertips by your ears. Tie crunch. Shoulders up. Ready? Here we go. Control. Keep it consistent. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Feet a little bit farther out away from you. Hands down on the floor. Curl up off the mat a little bit. Slide and reach, slide and reach, slide and reach. Back scratcher. Four, three, two, one. Last time with this box plank, I promise, today. Hands a little closer together. 
Feet just a little farther apart, knees under your hips. Plant the toes, lift the knees just a couple inches and keep them there. Alternating touch, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Right now, get yourself a quick drink of water. We're going to do three rounds, five exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, cardio endurance circuit. So, these are all going to be standing. I'm going to get my timer ready. For 15 rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Right there. First one is going to be a side shuffle crunch. Ready? We're going to count down from 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Getting ready for that side shuffle and crunch. Five. Three, two, one, side shuffle crunch, side shuffle crunch. Quick but control. Three, two, one. Ten one. seconds off. Going into together. Three, chop, two, chop. Here we go. One. Chop, chop, chop. We did these last week. Throw some force behind that chop. Engage with your core. Feel those glutes kick in as your weight shifts from side to side. One. Here we go. go. Squat jack, squat jack. You do whatever you need to do for range of motion. If that's a little shorter, that's okay. The whole goal of this is to keep moving, keep that heart rate up. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. Rest. Ten seconds off. Third exercise. Side kick, side kick. Three, three, two, one. Here we go. Side kick, side kick, side kick, side kick. Like you're trying to put your shoe print on the wall next to you. So kick out with the sole of your foot. I know you're not a violent person, but break your opponent's knee. Three. Three. Two, one. Ten Rest. seconds off. Alternating knee hug. This was a lower key exercise to keep you moving. Three, two, Let that heart rate come down a little bit. Go. Knee hug. Knee hug. Knee hug. Knee hug. Keep it smooth, consistent, quick, but controlled. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. Ten six. seconds off. Back to the top of that five exercise circuit, starting shuffle and crunch. Three, In three. two, one. Here we go. Shuffle, go. shuffle. Just a little shuffle hop to the side. Turn that knee up and in. Turn that elbow toward the knee. Try not to bend down to it. Three, Turn into two, it. One. Ten seconds. Rest. Recovery into chops. Fingers should tip. Fingers interlace. Three, two. Here one, we go. Go. Chop, chop, chop. Feel the core, feel those glutes. Keep moving, quick, but control. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. Rest. 10 seconds recovery, squat jacks. If you're just doing regular jumping Three, jacks, five. Two, one, go. Whatever depth you can get to into that squat today, that's fine. 
Now, I know I said no squats over here, but this is now part of the strength workout. This is part of the cardio nerd circuit. So, I didn't lie. I didn't mislead you. Two, two, two one, one, rest. 10 seconds recovery. Alternating side kicks. Three, three, two, one. Kick out with the sole of your foot, like you're pushing something away from you with your foot. Three, three seconds. Two, one, rest. Ten seconds break. Alternating sides. Knee hug. Three, in three, two, one, go. Pull it in. Pull it in. Quick but controlled. Keeping that spine tall. Pulling the knee in. Not pulling Three, the torso two, down. One, two, rest. one. Ten seconds recovery. Back to the top of that. One more time. Three. Shuffle, two, crunch. One, Here we go. go. Three, two, one, ten rest. seconds break. Chops in five. Three, two, Here we one, go. go. Chop, chop, chop. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. one, rest. Ten seconds. Squat jacks. Or jumping jacks. Three, two, focus lower one, body. Go. Light on your feet, whether you're doing the squat jacks or just a regular jack. Three. Three seconds. Two, one. Rest. Ten seconds recovery. Side kicks. In five. Three. Two. two one. Go. Boom. 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 Five seconds. Three, two, two one. Rest. Ten seconds rest. Alternating knee hugs. Then we're done. Then we're done. Stretching it out. Three, Three two, one. Pull go. in. Pull in. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Done. Done. Oh, they're awesome. You, look at me right there. You did awesome. You deserve a good, healthy snack. All right. I'm going to shift this down so the mass is a little more in focus. A little drink of water. We're going to start with some stretching. Now, there is a technical term for this stretch. It's boring and it's hard to remember. So I had a client once call this the Hollywood stretch. Start with legs out straight in front of you. Cross over. And actually, I'm going to switch legs. Cross over. I'm going to reach across the body and hold. He called this the Hollywood stretch because he felt like he was taking a Hollywood movie star photo. So give me your best Hollywood movie star photo pose. Push that elbow against the knee. Give it a little bit of turn. 
feel those obliques stretch out, feel that low back stretch out a little bit. You might feel that glute stretch out a little bit. Keep that posture tall. Keep your hand right there, plant it down against the floor to support you. Same thing, other side. Feet together, you're gonna cross over, reach across the body, elbow to the knee, give a little push there, supporting yourself with that hand right there, and coax your upper body into a gentle turn. Feel that stretch through the obliques, through the whole back, maybe through the glutes. Holding, holding, and down on your back. Don't fall asleep. Ankle over knee. We're going to reach through and pull that knee in. Oh, feel that glute stretch out on that bent leg, on this leg right here. Feel that glute stretch out. This figure four stretch on the back. One of the best. I love it. Feel that glute stretch. You might feel the low back a little bit, but we just did that Hollywood stretch. So you're probably not feeling the low back too much of this. You're probably feeling this stretch really target. Oh, the glute, yeah. Pull it in, hold, hold, hold. If you want to hold that a little bit longer, you go right ahead. I'm going to switch sides. Reach under and pull that knee in. Yeah. Feel that glute stretch out. You can kind of roll that hip to the side a little bit to feel that stretch a little bit more. That's good stuff. Yeah, wow, you guys were really quiet during that workout today. That must have been a good one. Holding, holding. A few more seconds. Right on. Into. Good old child's pose. Sit back on the heels, reach way out with the hands. From there, I'm gonna walk my hands toward the right. Just, a, just one or two hand steps to the right. Feel that now stretch down your left side. Down your left side. Hold that there off to the right, feeling that stretch on the left for just a few more seconds. And now walk off to the left side, feel that stretch on the right. Holding, holding, a few more seconds. Into a hurdler stretch. Sole of your foot pulled into the inside of your thigh, reach out toward your toe. Feel that up toward the, up the back of your leg and through the low back there. Try not to shrug the shoulders up, let them relax down. Shoulders aren't earrings, they're not accessories. Oh, I see a couple of comments there pop up. It was, it was amazing balls, that's awesome. <laughs> We're gonna switch sides on that vertical stretch. Yeah, that was a challenging workout today, huh? I enjoyed that. That was good.
This is the longest one we've done so far. We're just about an hour right now. Kneeling position, one hand on the floor, reach to the side, stretch. Other side. And now stretch like you're on it. Up, one hand low, one hand high. Other side, one hand low, one hand high. Really leaning back, yawn. All right. I am a hot, sweaty mess. <laughs> I hate squats and lunges, so I appreciate the light throw. And you know, that was one of the things. You know, when you say, I'm going to do a, a glute workout, it's so easy to default to squats and lunges. I thought we would do something a little bit more creative today. And uh, Melissa, I see you enjoyed that. I hope that I hope everybody else enjoyed that, got a lot out of it. Maybe you got some ideas on some new exercises you can do on your own. Uh, <laughs> it was something all right. Uh, watch for tomorrow's workout coming up. We're going to steer a little bit away from the lower body tomorrow since we've worked it so hard the last couple of days in a row. So expect a little bit more upper body focused workout tomorrow. And I'm thinking we're probably going to use maybe a combination of a yoga strap and the PVC pipe that we did last week. And we'll do some upper body work with those two pieces of equipment. But watch my Facebook page for an announcement about that. I'll get that up in the next couple of hours before I go to volunteer at the voting polls. I uh, hope to see you all here tomorrow again. Have a great day. If you haven't voted yet and you're well enough to get out there and vote. You're welcome, Julie. Thank you.